Forest Pack was first released in 1999, and since that time it's developed into one of, if not the, most advanced scatterer available for 3D Studio Max. We appreciate, however, that for some projects you don't need to use all of the features that the plugin has to offer, so in Forest Pack 6 we've made it easier to customise the plugin your way. The biggest change is the ability to choose to display only the rollouts you want to see. To turn rollouts on or off, just go to the settings option in the general rollout. Here you'll find a list of all the tools Forest Pack has to offer. Just uncheck the ones you don't regularly use and you'll end up with a much more streamlined interface for day-to-day -day work. Advanced users will also appreciate the option to disable the warning pop-ups that Forest Pack occasionally displays. Once you've customised the rollouts, you can further modify the UI by collapsing unneeded groups. Go into any rollout and wherever you see the double arrow symbol, you can hide the contents of that section, and just click it again to reverse the process. There's no need to save UI preferences either, your choices are retained between sessions so you don't need to make changes every time you open Max. Sometimes it's the little things that make a big difference in day to day work. We've made a simple change to lists which are now resizable, making it much easier to deal with scatters that use a large number of source objects. And for items with long names, we've also added a tooltip to the list boxes. Just hover your mouse cursor over an item to see its full title. Railclone users got used to being able to create an empty object without selecting something in the viewport just by clicking and dragging. Forest Pack now has this icon mode option as well, creating a unified experience across our plugins and making it much easier to set up scatters using the new distribution modes. And finally, another small change but one that had been regularly requested by users, it's now possible to select all of the forest object's dependencies, including the geometry, areas, surfaces and more, in a single click by picking Select All Forest Dependencies from the Quad menu. This is useful if you want to quickly save portions of your scene to a new file for use as an XREF or for any other purpose. <laughs>